Also joining us now is substance abuse counselor Mackenzie Phillips, as well as board certified psychiatrist Dr. Eric Shigori, who, as you saw, convinced Alyssa to go to the hospital. I knew that she was in the midst of a heavy, severe withdrawal from opiates and meth, and that she wasn't in the right state of mind to make these types of decisions. So Mackenzie and I really had to focus on convincing her that we needed to get her to the hospital immediately. I actually was fearful that, that she could pass away. And uh, I, I looked at Dr. Shigori, and we both said basically at the same time, we need to call an ambulance right now. There is no time to waste. It was very intense, and I'm, I'm just so relieved that she's safe and that she's actually willing to stay where she is and get well. Well, and before we talk about <laughs> ultimate goals here, because right now there, there is really one goal, and that is getting your daughter medically healthier. Fingers crossed that Alyssa gets the medical attention that she's getting now and is able to get healthier, medically speaking. We had a whole game plan, right? Absolutely. And that's still, that game plan's still in place, right, McKinley? Oh, yeah. We, so we, so we, tell, we tell people the ultimate game plan here. The ultimate game plan here, and, and we were, we were uh, incredibly, completely prepared for Alyssa to go directly into a medically-based detox, and once she was stable in her detox to come and join us at Breathe Life Healing Centers in West Hollywood for a period of 60 days or longer uh, as a scholarship. We have a very powerful treatment program here in West Hollywood, California. We have a 22-acre campus in Laurel Canyon. And when Alyssa is medically stable and ready, we are, I am just, I can't wait to see her again, to see more of, of the, the girl I know she really is. You said earlier that you, you do, though, feel some hope now. I, I feel hopeful. Um, well, yesterday morning when she left the hospital the first time, she was just not willing because they told her she would have to stay for um, weeks, and she just didn't want to have to go through sitting in a hospital bed that long again. And last night, she was very compliant after um, they had talked to her and convinced her that she really um, needed the help. And I just felt like she, she finally just relaxed and, and had some peace about it. Our hope is that we're going to be able to give a wonderful update. And she's in the right hands now. It's going to be a long road, but what you're watching here on the stage with Alyssa's story is this is the reality of drug addiction across this country. I've said it many times before, but if you're suffering, you know someone who's suffering, we'll have resources on our website. You may not even realize how sick someone is if they're abusing drugs. The earlier you can get intervention, the better. I, I want to thank each and every one of you, not only for, for being here, for having the plan in place initially, but for steadfastly reacting the way you did in an emergency situation last night um, and, and just holding it together. So thank you for that. And thank you all so very much.